Are the Philadelphia 76ers now title contenders? Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jaffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our video. The Philadelphia 76ers have been title contenders for the past few seasons, but they've never been able to legitimately be considered a team that can win it all because they've had Doc Rivers as their head coach, and they can never really make it out of either the first round of the NBA playoffs or the second round. And it's kind of a shame because Joel Embiid is a fantastic basketball player now that Tyrese Maxey is starting to enter his stride and will soon possibly be in the prime of his career the Philadelphia 76ers have had a lot of talent at the top to not be making it far in the NBA playoffs even though the Eastern Conference has been a tough nut to crack at the top of the division with teams like the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks that have been so good the past few years and even when the Philadelphia 76ers added James Harden it did not make a difference either but now James Harden is gone Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey are still there. The 76ers have a new head coach in Nick Nurse, and they are making some moves to ensure that Joel Embiid will have a chance to be able to eventually win an NBA title and be legitimate NBA title contenders because the 76ers have just signed Paul George to a four-year $212 million deal. And the reason why Paul George ended up leaving the Los Angeles Clippers is because of the fact that they were not going to give him a four-year deal. They were only going to give him a three-year deal at the very max because they gave Kawhi Leonard a four-year deals. So I guess the Clippers thought since Paul George is now 34 years of age, they just didn't want to give him a four-year deal when who knows how good Paul George is going to be by the time he's 38 years of age. And he's been injury prone a lot recently as well. But I'm going to go over whether I believe the 76ers made the right decision to sign Paul George and whether he will be the missing piece that the 76ers have needed to finally get over the hump and win a title with Joel Embiid. Now I don't think that Paul George is by no means declining all that much and that he is no longer a great player. But there are some concerns with Paul George's ability to stay healthy, especially considering he has been in the NBA for basically 15 years now. He is definitely not a young buck anymore. And even though he did average 23 points per game with the Clippers this past season, he is not the player that he was five years ago. He was a really dynamic player then, but he's still really good. And the 76ers don't need him to be the best player. Obviously, that is going to be Joel Embiid. And even Tyrese Maxey, at times, the way he's playing, can almost be the number one one option for the Philadelphia 76ers. But now that the 76ers have added Paul George, they are putting their window of opportunity to win an NBA title with Joel Embiid probably in the next two years. Because Paul George, by the time he's 36 years old, he probably will have declined a lot more than he currently is right now. So he's not going to be a great player for too much longer. And they did sign him to a really big contract. Four years, $212 million. That's great for Paul George. And he's probably almost worth that much amount of money considering a guy like OG Ananobi just got a very similar contract with the New York Knicks, but still, that is a big contract for an aging star, and the fact that Joel Embiid, he's not always healthy either. He's been injured a lot recently the last couple years. That's just going to make it very tough for me to believe that the Philadelphia 76ers will be title contenders, because look at the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George were on the team for the last few years, and the Clippers were never able to advance that far in the playoffs, because one of Paul George or Kawhi Leonard were her every single time that the NBA playoffs came around. And how are you supposed to win an NBA title when one of your stars are down? The older players get, they do tend to get injured more frequently. And Joel Embiid, he's not even super old yet. He's only 30 years of age, but he hasn't been nowhere near as healthy as he was early in his career in the NBA. He hardly ever got hurt those first few seasons in the league. The last couple years, the 76ers just cannot keep him on the floor. He's had multiple leg injuries. And if the 76ers goal is to win an NBA title, which with this move to get Paul George is seemingly what they want to do, how are they really expecting that they're going to be able to do that if their two stars are not really reliable when it comes to staying on the floor? And I know injuries are unpredictable, but to me, it would have almost made more sense for the 76ers to sign a younger star that would have been a guy that could be on the floor next to Tyrese Maxey. And maybe once Joel Embiid starts to decline, then they could have those two stars and maybe just sign someone else that was really good in the future or draft a person that could replace Joel Embiid 
and then they would be still good in the future. So I don't know if signing an aging star is necessarily the right move, but it is going to give the 76ers that small window of opportunity to be able to win a title, but they're going to have to take advantage of it in the next two years. But the problem is that teams like the Thunder are really good. The Celtics are really good. You still got the Bucks out there. The Knicks have made a lot of great moves in the last couple of off seasons. There are a lot of great teams, and you can't even forget about the Denver Nuggets and the Minnesota Timberwolves. So I believe that the Philadelphia 76ers will be in the thick of things, but it's still not going to be easy with the amount of talent in NBA teams that there are right now at the top of the league, and they also have one of the older teams of the bunch as well. And with guys that are injury prone, they have to stay healthy if they're going to have any shot to compete for a title. The Celtics have the best odds to repeat as champions right now, which you can't blame the betting odds for saying that because the Celtics really aren't losing any players. I think they made a couple of good draft selections, so they're definitely going to be in the thick of things again to win it all. And then when you look at the second best odds, they have the 76ers. The betting odds believe that the Sixers have the second best odds to win it all, but they are barely ahead of the Thunder and the Nuggets and the Knicks as well. So the betting odds are not super confident in believing that the Sixers are the second best team in the league. But it's probably just people buying bets early right after this trade, which has boosted the 76ers up to the second best odds to win it all next year. But I do believe that those other teams are going to make some moves as well, which could put them ahead of the 76ers. But I do think overall that the 76ers are legitimate title contenders. And I don't necessarily think that this was an awful move to get Paul George. I know some Sixers fans believe so. I don't think it was a fantastic move because, again, I would have preferred them to get a younger star. But it is tough to get younger stars through the trade market these days because those teams are not willing to give up guys that might end up becoming elite players in the future. You got to remember that the Los Angeles Clippers, when they got Paul George, ended up trading Shea Gilgis Alexander to the Oklahoma City Thunder, which ended up being one of the best moves for the OKC Thunder because Shea Gilgis Alexander is going to be great for their franchise for the next decade, whereas Paul George, again, is an aging star. So I think there is merit to keeping a lot of younger guys on your team that are really talented and building up your team that way, like the Thunder are doing right now through draft picks, whereas the 76 are signing guys like James Harden and Paul George, it's not really getting them to the promised land of being able to win a title. So only time will tell what ends up happening with the Philadelphia 76ers. I think Paul George is a great player. He's a nine-time All-Star. He's still got a lot left in the tank, but the window of opportunity is going to be very short, and Paul George and Joel Embiid have to stay healthy for the 76ers to have any shot to win a title, but I'm not even sure if that's going to even be able to happen. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about the 76ers signing Paul George and whether you believe that it was a good move for the 76ers to sign him. And they've also signed Eric Gordon and Andre Drummond as well to also be bench players on their team. Both players are solid, but they're also guys that are getting up in age who we don't know how much they're going to be able to provide for the 76ers next season. I think Eric Gordon will be able to provide more because he actually still is a pretty solid player, but he's around Paul George's age. So he is definitely on the decline as well. But if you think that was a smart strategy for the 76ers to go for a bunch of older guys, and whether you think that will be able to help them possibly be able to win a title in the next couple of years, or if you think they should have gone with some younger guys to be able to build around Tyrese Maxey once Joel Embiid is no longer going to be with the 76ers, subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description, and I'll see you next time.